Have you ever wondered what it's like going zero to 100 kilometers an hour in four seconds flat in a 5,800 pound super luxury SUV? Or having 612 horsepower with 590 pound foot of torque available to you at the ready? Well, now you don't have to wonder anymore because now we have the beautiful and striking super luxury Alpina XB7 here to show you. What's going on everybody? Fernando from Georgian BMW and as I mentioned, we've got the beautiful Alpina XB7 that I can't wait to show you. But before we kick off, you know the drill, make sure to show your support by clicking that thumbs up button and of course smash the subscribe button just down at the bottom to keep up to date with us and all things BMW. So first and foremost, we should probably talk about Alpina. Most people, when they think about BMW and sports cars, they think about our M lineup, but not a lot of people actually understand what the Alpina brand is. So Alpina is an aftermarket tuner that BMW works with that focuses on power, performance, and luxury. So not as raw and as loud and as razor sharp as our M cars, we have Alpina that typically is a little bit more powerful, just in a more luxurious method. Styling on this car is definitely crucial to talk about. A lot of our cars are typically blacked out and have chrome deletes, but this one adds a little bit of class to the mix. So we've got our beautiful chromed out grills. Of course, we have Alpina down here at the bottom so you know what's coming after you. Looking at the side of the car, we have got the signature multi-spoke 23-inch Alpina rims wrapped in the Pirelli Performance tires. Looking at the side of the vehicle, we still have some chrome messaging, so we've got the nice little chrome message at the bottom. You'll notice that the stance of this vehicle is a little bit lower because the XB7 rides on air suspension. So when you get out of the car, it's actually gonna lower itself a little bit. Coming around the back of the car, we have got functional quad tip exhaust, and of course, the Alpina messaging continues. So BMW roundel in the middle, Alpina XB7, so you know what it is. So inside this XB7, you're gonna see a lot of similarities that you would in a regular X7 or an X7 M50i. Although with it being an Alpina, we've got a few signatures that make it obvious of what it is. We've got the Alpina coat of arms in the steering wheel here as opposed to the traditional BMW emblem. We've got the placard, we've got Alpina right here in the Crafted Clarity iDrive, and of course, tiny little other insignias around the cabin, such as on the dash right here. Some other really, really nice luxury features that the XB7 comes standard with. We've got massaging seats over here, Bowers & Wilkins audio, suede Alcantara headliner, and we've also got ventilated seats. So while you're driving this incredible machine, you've got all the luxury finishes that you would hope to have in a super luxury SUV. So seeing as this is an XB7, we have a ton of seating capacity. This particular one has been configured with the rear captain's chairs, along with rear seats in the back. When you look up at the top of this car, so we've got the beautiful Sky Lounge, which is gonna twinkle its little ambient light at night. And then in the back, the rear passengers also have their own moonroof, along with temperature control. So in terms of the back seats, what's really nice about this is when you move the seat forward, everything is power. And instead of having no foot dam back here, the people that are in the back have a really nice spacious area to sit. So with the XB7, it's not just fashion with this car, it's also function. We've got a trailer tow hitch in the back, which can still tow up to 6,000 pounds. And of course, the signature BMW split tailgate. That of course is all powered. In fact, nothing in this car is gonna be done manual. Everything is gonna be done with the touch of a button. So you notice that in the back with all three rows up, you don't have a ton of storage. However, if you do need that much more, you actually have the choice between a little bit more storage and then a lot more storage by pressing any of these buttons back here. You'll notice that there is a max storage capacity and a max people capacity. So it'll put everything down or everything up depending on which button you press. So let's go ahead and hit the max storage capacity. And you'll notice that the center row seats actually move forward to make room for the third row to fold down, giving you all the space in the back. So that's gonna wrap up our real quick review of this brand new stunning Alpina XB7 here in stock. For more information about this car or the Alpina in general, you can visit us on our website at www.georgiabmw.ca or give us a call at any point. Until next time, thanks for watching.